Welcome back to Makeuptober. We're just taking a moment to appreciate this real spider that found my fake spider webbing that I'm using as a background. Thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> Today's theme is fur. We're going to be using dry to normal skin eyeshadow primer, eyelash serum, herbal face oil. Those will be a tacky base. All natural black eyeliner, we'll use this to mark out our look. Golden halo highlighter. Pewter mineral eyeshadow. Coco Pacino. Taupe of the morning. And sexy and soot mineral eyeshadow will give us our shades and colors. Brown mascara. Wing Worthy Black Eyeliner, Marooned on an Island Lipstick. Follow us on Instagram, find our Facebook page, we do lots of educational and makeup looks on our TikTok. You can find our products on our Etsy page or our website. And I also have la launched our Patreon page if you're interested in a subscription. We're going to start with the Dry to Normal Skin Eyeshadow Primer. This creates a tacky base for the eyeshadow to stick to, helps it stay put and the color to be darker. Eyelash Serum, this will help the eyebrows stick upright. And Herbal Face Oil, this will also create a tacky base for our costume look. We want our full face to have that tacky base. I'm using the All Natural Black Eyeliner to mock out the shape of our look and with fur I was thinking of a raccoon um, so that's kind of something I drawn out and then I'm planning it out with the all-natural black eyeliner, eyeliner because it blends in well with the eyeshadows. Sexy and Soot Mineral Eyeshadow. It's going to be the base of the mask of our raccoon look. Help of the Morning Mineral Eyeshadow is our second darkest color after Sexy and Soot. Using this to slowly create a gradient from the mask outward to our other features. Coco Pacino Mineral Eyeshadow. I'm layering this over the Sexy and Soot just because the Sexy and Soot sometimes has a hard time creating like a really even coverage. Um, this is gonna help create an even, more even coverage. Blending that all natural black eyeliner out so it's easier for the eyeshadow to blend. Pewter mineral eyeshadow. It's a nice soft gray look. It blends really well into the taupe of the morning which is a gray brown. Um, this will help transition from our light to dark features on our raccoon face. Self-care, even while working, important. Golden Halo Highlighter is our lightest color we're going to be using. Wing Worthy Black Eyeliner. I'm using this to make my raccoon features on the nose and I will eventually use it for whiskers and eyes as well. Um, I started with the nose just because for me this is the hardest part to get symmetrical and perfect. And I have to do many layers for it to be really dark, that dark coverage that we're looking for for this style. I'm also gonna use it as a little bit of a lip liner. This is a costume look, so black lip liner for an animal. Um, totally fits. Marooned on an Island Lipstick. This is a nice dark base for our animal colors. And then we're going to add Coco Pacino Mineral Eyeshadow over the top. Some more Wing Worthy Black Eyeliner. And now we're building our raccoon eyes. And I wanted a downward uh, sloping uh, wing here on this eye. So it's going to be pretty big and dramatic. It takes me a while to build it up to the right shape and size and um, color. 
Just make sure to let it dry adequately between layers and that's how you get the best look out of the Wing Worthy eyeliner. brown mascara to top it all off. That wing worthy black eyeliner for our whiskers. Looking great. Thanks for following along.